Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to my channel. I really appreciate all the views and the comments on my other videos. I am doing my best to um, comment back to everyone and just making sure we keep communicating and I'm available for any questions. This video is a supply haul part one. Over the weekend, I received most of my textbooks and that was really, really exciting. So I decided to go out and purchase my binders and try to organize my binder for my class. Um, I still have a few more books coming in this week, but for the most part, I have everything. Um, so, and also I wanted to share how um, I decided to organize my binder so far. Um, and this I found from another nursing student Instagram and I thought it was a really great idea, so I copied it, sorry. <laughs> um, so first I'm gonna show you the binders. I have all my stuff here, so I'm trying not to knock anything over. Um, so I purchased four one inch binders. See, it's about that big. And I typed this page up here in the front. Um, I have the class name, the I mean the name of the class, health assessment, the the course number, um, the date, the day, the time, the professor's name, and just my information here. Um, just um, traveling Gonzalez, if found, please return. Um, contact info on in the back. I hope this is not gonna show like, you know, I hope you can, is it gonna be like reversed yeah. or, okay, well that's probably not gonna be helpful. I don't know, but hopefully you can just see what I'm, you know, doing here. And on the back, um, I just have a little card. I'm not gonna show you my info, but I just put a little card here with my number and my school email so that if someone finds my binder, they would hopefully be nice enough to call me or email me and return it because my life is pretty much gonna be in here. Um, so for each binder, I have five dividers. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna organize it. I'm gonna wait until class actually starts to see how I'm gonna do that. But out of my four classes, two of my classes have a lab component. So what I did was on the very last divider, the very last tab, this section I'm gonna use for my lab. So the sheet is kind of the same thing I typed up. I have a um, protective covering thing on this sheet. So it's not gonna get all wrinkled and dirty, et cetera. So this section I'm gonna use for my lab. Um, if you can see, like uh, my class is on Mondays from eight to 9.50. This is lecture, but lab is Wednesday, um, eight to 12, I believe. No, eight to 12.50. So lab and lecture is a different day. For the same, it's the same class, but lecture is Monday, lab is Wednesday for what, four hours? Almost five hours, actually. So this is how I, I did my binders. And I just, um, this little border thing around here, this is washi tape that I got from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I just wanted to make it pretty and girly and just make it fun. And my favorite color is pink, by the way. So this is one class, health assessment. Um, this is art and science of nursing. This is actually, this is the lecture, which is Tuesday from 9.30 to 11.20. But on Friday, so again, I have the five dividers. And then the very last tab of the binder, this is um, art and science. This is the lecture on Tuesdays. But on Fridays, this is the day we go to the hospital for clinicals. So all my information sheets, worksheets, whatever I get from clinicals, I'm gonna put them in the back of the binder for this class. Um, I have another binder, um, which is this blue color I thought was really pretty. It reminds me of like the Tiffany blue, love it. Um, this is pharmacology. Um, so I have pharmacology Monday, 1230 to 320. That's a long class. 
but we'll make it through. So pharmacology, again, I have the five dividers. Once the class starts, I'll figure out how I want to organize um, my stuff for that class. And my last class, this is perspectives. And I have this class on Thursday, 9.30 to 10.50. And perspective has, um, it has a lab component. And again, the last tab, this is where I'm going to put my lab stuff for this class. So this lecture, for this class, the lecture is on Thursday. And for the lab, for the lab, it's also on Thursday, but right after lecture. So those are the binders. Okay, we got that out of the way. So now my textbooks. Um, books not really textbooks they're mostly books um so the first book i want to show you is this drug guide book i feel like everyone is probably familiar with this this is kind of like a must-have obviously for um, any nursing student and i've been looking through the book just trying to get familiar with how it's organized and just looking through it to see what to expect. And I think it's really, really cool. So for, it has pretty much every drug in here, um, the different classes of drugs. And it's really nice. So they have the drug name, they have the generic brand name. Um, they talk about the general use. They talk about the general action, general info, um, the contraindications, the precaution, the interactions, nursing assessment, um, nursing diagnosis, and other things too. Um, also, the different dosage routes, patient family teaching. This is such a good book, and I think I'm going to be using this for the entire nursing program. And even after nursing school, it's something good to have. So that's book one. I'll put it right there. Um, another book that I received was my NCLEX RN examination book. So for my program, they want us to, well, first of all, the our exams in nursing school, they're going to be form, um, formatted in the same way, like an NCLEX style question, so that we are familiar with these questions. And so they recommend that we get a book that we can use throughout the nursing program to study for the NCLEX, which I think is great. You want to start studying as early as possible. So when you're finished, you know, you don't have to spend a long time cramming for the exam and trying to be, you know, trying to pass it, I guess. So if you're, if you start early, you'll be very aware and you'll be able to pass your first time. And I think this is really good because it's broken down into different sections. Like if you see the different colors. So it has mental health, adult health, respiratory GI, endocrine, oncology, um, the ears, the eyes, renal, urinary, pediatrics, maternity, fundamentals. And they have a sections on just tips and how to study and how to prepare. Awesome. Um, I actually um, did some reviews, read reviews on this book, and this was highly recommended, highly preferred. It's the seventh edition Saunders, and I believe this is the newest one, but yes, love it so far. Another book, this is my for my health assessment class. This is our lab manual. So like I said, remember I have um, lecture one day and then I have lab another day. So this is the little handbook that we're gonna use for health assessment um, whenever we're doing our lab stuff. This is like the sheets and stuff we're gonna be working on and turning in. This is my pharmacology textbook, big book. Um, I started looking at it and I was like, ooh, this is this looks hard, but don't worry, we'll get there. We'll figure it out. This is my health assessment textbook. Another big book. These are really big books. Health assessment. Um, this this little guy, it fits in the pocket of your scrubs. Really, really good book. It this is for health assessment as well, and it shows you how to assess 
the different parts of the body. Such a good book. I mean, especially for when you're in clinical, something you can have like right on you, you can go back and refer to and be like, oh, okay, little handy book. Um, this book is for my perspective class. And this is also um, pharmacology. This is just about doing um, calculations for medication. And we're using this book, just an APA book, APA format, just how to do that correctly. Um, see, it shows you like how, when you write your paper, how to correctly format it. And so those are all the books that I have so far. Also, I ordered my little dressing scissors. Um, it's cute. It's matte black. I think I'm going to go with like all black tools, you know, set the, uh, set the scope, dressing scissors, the hemostat, everything. I'm just going to do all black because I feel like it can go with anything. Um, finally, last, but yeah, this is last. I found these little cute books at Walmart. They were 82 cents. They fit in the pocket of your scrubs. Super, super cute. What is that? Genius notes. Really cute. And there's they have different kinds, but these are the ones that I got. Love notes. Anyways, such a cute notebook. You can have right in your pocket um, to write notes whenever you're in clinicals and you need to write some notes about the patient that you're working with. Or maybe you're in lab, you need to write notes or whatever. This is a cute little book you can have on you that's just really convenient. So that's everything I have so far. I hope this video was really, really helpful. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to check out Amazon, Amazon Prime for students because you get 50% off. You get your books, your supplies, anything within two days. Wonderful. If you have any questions, any suggestions, just please comment, subscribe, like, send me an email. Appreciate you guys for sticking with me and watching. I will do a supply haul part two um, with just general supplies. I have orientations in two weeks, so I will keep you updated and let you know how that goes. Thank you so much again. Um, see you guys later. Bye.